Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Atari Jaguar slash Atari Jaguar CD emulator completely portable. This is the big PMU for Windows. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to make the Big P emulator on Windows completely portable. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and it's going to take you to the Big P MU website and consider supporting the creator on Patreon. Um, I'm not an Atari Jaguar fan. I, I never played it until today when I started looking into how to make this portable, but I thought maybe you guys would uh, find this interesting. So what you're going to want to do is download the current version as of this video is 1.094. You're going to right click, save link as, and I always save to my desktop. So you would just hit save and then I'm going to minimize. So once you have your zip file, you're going to want to right click on it, seven zip and do extract two. If you don't have 7-Zip in installed, I will link that in the description of this video as well. Once you extract it, you're going to have this folder. What I like to do is just call it Big PMU and get rid of the version number. Just like that. So we're going to want to go to the description of this video. And you're going to copy and paste some text. So I'm going to keep mine to the side here. But we're going to open up our big PMU folder. We're going to right click on the .exe. Create shortcut. So before I do anything, what I want to do is rename this to big PMU space dash portable. Just like that. Now what we're going to want to do is right click on the shortcut properties and inside of the shortcut tab, we're going to copy this target. So in the description of this video, you can highlight it just as I am here, right click, copy, and we're going to want to make the target completely empty and then right click paste for start in you want that completely empty just like that now we're going to go to apply and hit ok now we're going to right click on it one more time properties these ones are optional but it just makes it pan out better so what I like to do is change my sizes so my width uncheck wrap text output on resize we're gonna put a 1 and a 1 window size 1 and a 1 now I'm on 1080 so I'm gonna uncheck let system position window and I am going to set this to 1916 by 1076. I'm going to hit apply. Now we're going to go over to colors and set the opacity down here on the bottom. We're just going to drag that all the way down to 30. Hit apply and hit OK. So what this is going to do is going to create a user data folder once we run it through the shortcut. So there we go. Now what we're going to want to do while we're in here is go to our video options and you can set your resolution. So I'm going to set mine to 1080, which is for me all the way at the bottom. So I'm 1920 by 1080 by 32 at 60 Hertz. Just like that. There we go. And a little tip and trick I learned was to go to system settings. 
scroll down until we get to blitter speed and set this to free. Now you can change this later, but it does help with some of the games to run better. So we're going to exit out. Exit. And now we have a user data folder with our config file inside. If you currently have this emulator set up on your system, what you should do is copy this new config and paste. Then you're going to want to go to your C drive users. Mine is called PC, whatever your username is on your computer. We're going to go to app data. If you can't see it, you click view and make sure hidden items is checked. Always make sure file name extensions is checked too. But we're going to go into the app data folder, roaming, and we'll come until we find the big P M U folder. You might have multiple files in here. You might only have one. But if you want to use your old settings, you would just take this file, copy, and paste it into your user data folder. So that is for people who have previously set up this emulator. I just wanted to throw that in there. So the next step, we have to add some games. Let me close this out. I am just using a folder called games. That's how I do it. I put it in the root of Big P MU, games. I have a Jaguar game in a zip format. Inside of that zip is a .jag file. Then I have a Jaguar CD game, which is Q and a bunch of bins. I have tried to merge. I have not figured out a way to do it yet. So I suggest don't do it. If I find out a way, I will make a future video for you. But I put it in a folder so it keeps this clean. But again, that, that's completely optional. Now we're going to want to run it again, the shortcut. There we go. And we're going to go to load software. We'll go to games. And then let's just run a game. Now I'm going to exit out of the game completely. All I wanted that to do was to set our game path in our config file. So now you're going to want to go into your user data folder, go to your big P M U config dot big P C F G right click. And I'm going to link this in the description if you don't have it installed, but we're going to want to edit with notepad plus plus. We're going to take this. There's a lot in here. This is not a setup guide for Big PMU. This is just how to make it portable. We're coming all the way down to the bottom. Come up a little bit. Doesn't matter to me about set cart. Doesn't matter to me about recent files. ROM path is where we're at. And all we want it to say is games. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close. So this shortcut must be in this folder. So it's portable, you can move it anywhere you want, but it's, the shortcut must be in the same folder as the program. So what I'm gonna do is just move it to show you it working. Now it's in a different folder. That's an old shortcut I was working on. Big PMU, portable, it's still portable. So we'll go to load software, goes right into our games folder. So I have my Primal Rage CD game in its own folder. There it is running. I can turn that off. Load software. I just hit the double dots and I'm back in my games folder. Exit. I'll take it again. Move it. Load software, we're in our games folder where we last loaded a game, which was Primal Rage. So that's going to do it for this one, everybody. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.